FC 25 is the latest and greatest football game from the EA Sports department. But as always, it's not perfect and has some issues. My name is Yudullah, you're watching Candido Technology and today we're talking about how to fix any lags or freezes you might be facing with FC 25. Now, the first thing that uh, we're going to talk about when it comes to uh, FC 25 and sort of the crashes that you can do is to just restart your PC. Just open the start menu, go here and click on restart. Restart your PC every now and then. It's great for your PC's health and it does uh, wonders when it comes to performance. Now, moving on to more uh, serious fixes. The first thing we're going to do is to look for an update to the game. Now, if you have the game on Steam, uh, Steam will almost always have uh, an update. So if you head over to your library section, you can see if there is an update queued for your particular game. As you can see, there is an update for Counter-Strike, but FC25 is all well and good and running as it should. So make sure there is, uh, if there's an update to the game, you go ahead and you install it because updates tend to fix a lot of things when uh, stuff goes wrong. Uh, the next thing is to check your game files. To do this, uh, just head over to your library in Steam, locate the game, right click it and then click on uh, properties. In here, go to installed files and you will see the verify integrity of game file option uh, come up. What this does is that it checks uh, all of the game files to make sure that they're all there. None of them are corrupted. And if anything is missing or not working as expected, it will re-download those files and uh, essentially have everything ready for you uh, to be able to run the game. And this can also resolve a lot of problems with your particular game that you might be facing. The next solution is to try and uh, reset the Steam download cache. Now to do this, uh, depending on whether you have uh, got the game from Steam or uh, from uh, EA's official app, the steps for this might be different. I've gotten it from Steam, so we're going to go ahead with that. All you have to do is head over to the top right, click on the Steam option that appears right there and then click on settings. Now in the Steam settings option, head over to download and then you will see the clear download cache option appear right here. Uh, just click on this button and uh, that's it. You're good to go. Uh, as you can read right here, Steam uh, clearing download cache might help resolve issues downloading or starting apps. So if you can't get the game to launch, uh, clearing the cache can help. Next, what we're going to do is that we are going to delete some temporary files from our system just to get make sure that we're not having any corrupt files in our cache that cause, cause problems with the game. Now, to do this, press Windows key plus R to open up the run prompt. And what we're going to do is in here we're going to type in percentage sign local app data percentage sign and press enter this will open up a folder and if you scroll down you will see ea sports fc 25 in here now this has your uh, replays uh, settings and any modifications of the game that you have made uh, anything if anything goes corrupt in this or if anything isn't working or it is not in order the game is not going to launch or even if it does it's going to cause problems so the best way to resolve this is to just completely delete this folder just delete this folder off the face of this uh, directory and then restart your game you will have to uh, make a lot of those changes again so if you've uh, tweaked the game a little uh, you're going to have to do it your profiles will not be lost uh, your save games will uh, not be lost because they are saved on the server and the game will be able to fetch them back so yeah uh, you're good to go on that front this is just uh, any configurations and settings that you've saved so you're going to have to do them again but this can resolve issues with uh, the game not launching or crashing Next up, uh, we're going to check whether or not FC25 is using our GPU, the ded dedicated GPU that we have in our system. Now to do this, press the Windows key to open up the search menu and type in graphics settings. As you can see, it appears right here. 
so we're going to go ahead and click on that now in this list that shows up i'm going to find uh, fc25 and i don't see it uh, i see fc24 but i don't see fc25 which is not a problem if you don't see fc25 in here uh, what you can do is click on browse and now all you have to do is head over to the location where you've saved the game so uh, in my case the game is saved under steam library steam apps common fc25 and then fc25.exe it's right here so if i go ahead and click add there it is it automatically adds the game uh, to uh, this menu now we're going to go ahead and click on options and you will see a bunch of things here so uh, you can either let windows decide which works in most cases but sometimes windows can get it wrong so just make sure you select high performance which is your dedicated gpu uh, if you don't have, uh, if you're running this on a laptop, you will see a power saving, which is an integrated GPU and then a dedicated GPU right here. We're going to run the game on dedicated GPU because that's what we need. So just make sure you click on high performance, go ahead and click save and you will be good to go. If you don't know where the game uh, is saved on your system, uh, you can go to Steam. In the library, right click your game, click on manage and then click on browse local files and this will launch you in the same directory that we were so you can just copy that directory from here as you can see this is exactly where i went so i can see the fc 25 exe folder and uh, the ea app also has options for this so you're covered on that front If you've ensured that the game is running on dedicated GPU but it is still facing problems, it's time to check for a driver update. Now whether you have an Intel AMD or Nvidia GPU, the exact process is going to be different but uh, you just basically have to open up the utility for your GPU and look for an update. In my case it's Nvidia so I'm going to launch up the Nvidia app, head over to drivers. And then uh, I can just, uh, if you have a driver update pending, it will show up here. Uh, and in case it doesn't, you can just click on this small circle to check for updates. If there are any, it will inform you. If there are none, you are good to go. Uh, alternatively, one more thing that you need to keep in mind is that you make sure that you're using the game ready driver and not the studio driver. The studio driver provides a better experience for creative apps like Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, nada nada nada. But if you're playing games on your system, you should use the game ready driver as that provides the best gaming experience and performance that you can get. If you've made it this far in the video and your problem has not been resolved, uh, you should try reinstalling your game. Now, once again, depending on whether you've downloaded it via EA or Steam, the exact steps are going to be different. But uh, if I fire up Steam here, go to my library. All I have to do to uninstall the game is to right click this, go to manage and then click on uninstall. Steam will give you a warning that this will remove the game from your device, but it will remain in your library. Just go ahead and click uninstall. Wait for the game to completely get wiped off your drive restart your system and then reinstall it again and uh, you should be able to resolve your problems with the game last but not least it's also always a good idea to check for windows updates now windows updates uh, you will find if you press windows key plus i open windows settings head over to the last section which is windows update and as you can see i have a cumulative update for 23h2 available for some reason microsoft won't send the 24h2 update to me but uh, this is what my system gets uh, so just go ahead click on install all uh, if you don't see any updates available there will be a check for updates button right here click it make sure you're on the latest version of windows and uh, all of those fixes combined should fix the problem that you're facing with fc25 if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candidate.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video